Hey guys, I'm going to talk to you about one of my absolute favorite topics in art. That is paper mache. I can't wait to get started. Paper mache is really just three easy steps. The first thing you have to do is make a sculpture entirely out of paper. I say entirely, but we might use a little bit of wire for stability from time to time. But the entire thing is mostly made out of paper in just a very little bit of masking tape. It's really important that you go light on the masking tape because the next step, the paper mache, will stick mostly to papered surfaces. So you want to have most of your sculpture covered in paper. You never want to mummify it with masking tape. It actually makes the paper mache st step a lot harder. Next, you'll cover your sculpture in paper mache, which is just white strips of paper saturated in art paste, which is a powdered glue dissolved in water. It's really important to saturate those paper strips, but not to soak them because if they're too wet, your sculpture can grow mold. Lastly, we will treat the surface of your sculpture with Mod Podge and tissue paper to create the illusion of a Sandy Skoglund sculpture. For this particular paper mache project, we're going to be creating five unique installations. We're going to be creating installations inspired by Sandy Skoglund. Your options are to create a paper mache cat for our radioactive cat display. You can create a wild squirrel for our squirrel installation. You can create a dreamy fish if you would like for an installation that'll be going into the um, IMC. Or you could create this charming rose, which will be going in one of our display cases. Or you could create a giant falling leaf that will be um, part of an installation that we're doing in the, in the office. So the first thing we need to do is plan. You're going to have a space on your sheet to do some preliminary sketches. You need to first choose which installation you want to participate in, and then you're going to fill out a form letting us know which installation that you're going to participate in. So that way we get an idea of how many sculptures are going into each space. And then you're gonna start sketching what your um, cat, squirrel, fish, rose or your um, leaf is going to look like. So stay tuned because the next thing we're going to do is talk about how to start building those things with paper.